good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure for me to be here to share the views and perspective of Indonesian growers as the largest CSPO producers, as all, and also sharing with you all the continuous commitment to ma make the RSPO a success. My, my presentation is going to touch upon three aspects. International market for green products, business environment, and Indonesian CSPO, CSPO and growth opportunities. Indonesian palm oil experienced another setback when APEC in September just decided not to include CPO as one of the uh, environmentally friendly uh, products. This has narrowed the opportunity for CPO to penetrate the market, the global market through tariff reduction facility. But this also raised the question of uh, the readiness of the market to absorb the CSPO. And also the issue of low pr premium price and the market uptake has also come to fore. And if you look at the statistic that we currently have on the website, we, you can see that demand always lower than supply, even though there are uh, some in improving in terms of demand. However, the gap persists and uh, it's really difficult for the demands to catch up the supply. And we also have the, some statistics on the production and demand side uh, and we also observe that there are issues to address here that we have done as the growers to produce the SPO. On the other hand, we also request the market to to increase the uptakes. And there are a number of uh, players, on, both on the demand and uh, supply side, just for our reference. And Indonesian growers actually uh, experience a, a roller coaster ride. We are one of the uh, key stakeholders in the RSPO, founding members of the RSPO, and we are involved in the establishment RSPO. However, in 2011, last year, GAPKI, as the representative of Indonesian growers, withdrew its membership from the RSPO, and it created lots of buzz among the uh, stakeholders. However, we managed to reorganize and we established Indonesian Growers Caucus, and we managed to further advocate the CSPO production, and up to now, we produce 48% of uh, CSPO of the total uh, global uh, CSPO production. And this uh, growth also uh, accompanied with the growing members of the RSPO uh, from Indonesian growers side. Up to now, we record 68 companies operating in Indonesia. 54 are Indonesian companies and 14 are foreign palm oil uh, plantation companies operating in Indonesia. And as the Indonesian growers, and we are uh, experiencing, uh, experiencing a number of uh, challenges, both internal in terms of the country and also external. In terms of internal challenges, the Indonesian growers are facing with the skepticism, uh, lots of the uh, CSPO, uh, RSPO detractors and suspicion from the business associations as well as the government. And the establishment of ISPO is also uh, distract the, the uh, attention of the Indonesian growers. Governance, social, and legal certainty, of course, are, are also part of the uh, challenges that we have to face. And it is also unfortunate that the, there is no coherent efforts from among the Indonesian growers to promote further CSPO. And on the external side, we observe that the low premium price and low market uptakes are seen as the challenges that uh, the uh, growers uh, consider. And these are, uh, are uh, worsened with the fact that anti-palm oil movement and uh, campaigns are co continue to persist, together with the introduction of tariff barriers and food labeling, and also the introduction of other sustainability certification, which also include some initiative from uh, other RSPO members to introduce the individual uh, sustainability standards. This has become another issue that we also need to encounter. And on the RSPO, we 
uh, in the opinion that there are some issues of the RSPO that need to be further uh, improved. The visibility and relevance of RSPO and the uh, question over how we can make the vision, the new vision of RSPO work. Also, there are some doubt and hesitance among the Indonesian growers on where the uh, RSPO is heading to, COPA this RSPO. So those are the challenges that they are facing. Despite all challenges, the production of uh, Indonesian CSPO are continue is uh, growing. And if we look at the context of CPO production in Indonesia, we can see that the uh, hectares of palm oil plantation in Indonesia and also the C CPO production so a uh, very positive trend. In 2000, uh, in, in 2000 the uh, coverage is only 4.7 million hectares producing 8.2 million tons of CPO. And currently we are uh, actually experiencing, uh, we have 9.2 million hectares of palm oil plantation, producing 25 million tons of CPO. And in 2025, the uh, palm oil plantation in Indonesia is going to cover uh, 15 million uh, hectares of palm oil plantation, producing 66 million tons of CPO. This uh, uh, trend also uh, uh, accompanied with the change of ownership. Previously, the currently the uh, palm uh, private companies control most of the palm oil production uh, production and. Uh, Hectorage. However, in 2025, we are going to see that the smallholders are going to sur surpass the uh, private company. Each uh, smallholders and uh, private company are going to share 48% of the uh, palm oil uh, production in Indonesia. Those uh, expansion and development are made possible uh, due to the following uh, Policies. The policies in Indonesia is very favorable to palm oil development, and the government is fully supportive to ex uh, further develop palm oil in a sustainable uh, way. And also, the government has highlighted the priority on the smallholders' development, and also support for the uh, development of value-added industry and uh, boosting the efficiency of uh, CPO production. Indonesian growers are key st uh, RSPO stakeholders, and we also uh, think and we also uh, recognize that the RSPO has revolutionized the, the way we operate, has uh, revolutionized the palm oil industry in Indonesia, and the RSPO has raised the uh, bars of, of sustainability standard. And we look at the uh, contribution of Indonesian uh, CPO to the world. Currently, Indonesia produces 48% of the total global uh, CPO of the world. And in terms of the RSPO certified plantation areas, Indonesia also produces 48% of the total CSPO. And uh, in October, I think in this month, we produce uh, the area under the RSPO uh, certified. Uh, certi uh, certified area is uh, stand at 628,000 uh, hectares. And in terms of the CSPO, we produce 48% uh, of the CSPO, producing 3 million uh, tons of CSPO uh, this year, and it's going to uh, increase. CSPKO also uh, observed uh, experiencing the same trend. From zero in 2008, currently we are producing 690 tons, uh, a thousand tons uh, of CSPKO. And if you look at the forecast of the uh, CPO and CSPO production, we are uh, quite confident that in 2025, we are going to reach uh, 66 million uh, tons of CPO. And it's going to raise incrementally and it's, uh, the production is going to contribute 57% uh, of the global uh, CPO production. And based on this trend and 
increase uh, production, we developed two scenarios. The first scenario is uh, rather realistic and uh, conservative. We are in the opinion that in 2025, Indonesian uh, palm oil uh, is 36 uh, percent of the palm oil will be under the RS RSPO certified areas. And roughly, we are going to produce 24 million tons of CSPO in 2025. And in terms of second forecast, in the second uh, scenario, if we are able to uh, encourage Indonesian growers to become members and committed to certify their uh, CPO, we are going to see that 64% of the Indonesian CPO will be CSPO. And uh, under, current, uh, under this scenario, we are going to see 42 million of CSPO are going to be produced in 2025. So based on uh, the figures and facts that are presented, we uh, Indonesian growers, we can declare ourselves as a champion of uh, sustainability. Why? Because we survive and we thrive against all odds in both domestic, against all the challenges at national level and global level. And we're also experiencing a steady growth, both in the membership and uh, certified mills and estates, as well as CSPO production. And Indonesian CSPO is going to grow from currently contributing 48% of the global CSPO to 57% in 2025. And we are committed continuously to the RSPO and to produce uh, CSPO. And we are trailblazer to set a new bar for the sustainability standard. These are evidence in the formation of ISPO. Despite all uh, uh, issues, ISPO is, can be seen also as the uh, showcase of institutionalization of uh, sustainability standards. And we also see uh, a quite unique partnership between uh, GAR and Greenpeace, two bipolar but now uh, actually meeting in the middle. An unlikely marriage in the pre uh, previously, but now it's happening. And Musimas is committed uh, to produce 100 percent of uh, CSPO. And Indonesian Growers Caucus and other uh, forum uh, supportive to RSPO are now established in Indonesia. So those are the trailblazers uh, that are actually supporting the uh, production of CSPO and advocate the S uh, RSPO in Indonesia. In a nutshell. We have done our part to produce the CSPO as the growers, and we abide by the RSPO standards. However, we demand and we plead for the, uh, a more balanced and fair responsibility of all other uh, RSPO stakeholders. A quid pro quo. We would like to see the RSPO certificates are more valued, are more uh, recognized than the competing sustainability. How to do that? It's uh, our homework to to make sure that our certification is uh, more valuable than others. And we would like to see the incentives of CSPO. Boosting uh, production should be also uh, accompanied with the increased market uptakes and also assurance for the uh, premium price. And we would like to see the RSPO Secretariat repam and strengthen. We want to see the RSPO Secretariat able to deliver the uh, services for its members, not only organizing RT, but also other services that our other stakeholders are required. And we would like to see the Secretariat also playing a role in advocacy, campaigning on CSPO and uh, assisting in mitigating the anti-palm oil uh, campaign. And we also would like to see other stakeholders' commitment in terms of uh, assisting us in uh, advocating the use of CSPO and also assisting us to fight against or to, to deal or encounter the anti-palm uh, oil propaganda. And we also would like to see that, that other stakeholders also abide by the PNC that have to be uh, developed by the uh, RSPO. Not only PNC for growers, but also PNC for other stakeholders. But last uh, but not least, uh, as Indonesian growers, and we have been a very good boy of the RSPO, we would like to see the process of RSPO review as a fair process. And the revised PNC, as a result, has to be reasonable, 
realistic, workable, doable, and acceptable by all stakeholders, particularly the growers as the most affected uh, stakeholders. Thank you so much.